unexploitable. Who's your favorite radical journalist in history? In history, I suppose I'd have to say George Orwell. I, I know it's cliched because everyone now pretends to admire him, but there was a long time when he wasn't well known and certainly not well liked. And I think it shows in his prose, and it's those bits of his prose that I admire. Did he go to Bayonne? No, he didn't go to university at all. Nor did my living favorite, uh, Gore Vidal, go to college either. And I've always thought that's a good counsel to people who think that credentials are everything. You don't have to do any of that. Orwell went to a privileged public school, but he then went off to be, again, because it was the poverty of his family, went off to be a colonial policeman in Burma. What did you like about George Orwell? Well, um, again, not to sound too conventional about it, um, I think he really would follow a logic and honesty to their, to their full conclusion. I mean, he would not be deflected by the fact that this might offend someone he knew or some cause with which he was associated, or more important, I mean, wouldn't uh, even discompose himself. In other words, he thought, okay, if I don't like this conclusion, I'm still sticking with it if it's, if it's been arrived at honorably. It sounds like an easy thing to do or to say, but it's actually very hard to live by, and I think he really did live by it. I thought, he, I thought he put up a good show for the left in his life at a time when it was in great difficulty because people were pressed very hard to say, look, if you're on the left, you must support the Soviet Union because it's endangered and it's encircled by fascism and so on, and you mustn't criticize it in public even if you have your doubts. And he said, no, that, that would be stupid. That would be giving up the thing that makes me a radical in the first place, which is the right to think for myself. That was a lot harder to do now than it sounds, again. Okay. And then I think he was a very witty and brilliant um, stylist. I, I think his writings on other authors like Dickens, for example, um, his reflections on so eternal subjects like capital punishment, for example, or family life, ordinary things, every th arguments that never go away, always worth rereading.